Jesum till Svarig sinnel vi Majstnaren Semmer skriven så hon Svarig sinnel vi Majstnallen Come, three, be come, 
Since I met a screaming song, say. Unnoticed, uninvited, I write here. The magic of the Minnesota dusk softly tugs a rugged geography. Every color flames burning inside out, and the same deep abundant embers stoke alive the shadowed trees as awaken now over the black lapping lake the loons. The sun is almost set, but a presence strong and solar warms the evening as paired eternally these two slender shapes slide, effortless, Demon dark from behind the small island where on wilder nights they wait out the white caps and insistent wind. I catch a flash of crosshatch back. The white reflects for an instant some secret fire. Still hidden, I begin to feel apart. My own heart slides with these as smoothly they claim ownership of the last sunbright streak across the lake, bobbing, weaving sure as boxers intent only on the need to connect in rhythm with each other. My thoughts trace their grace of symmetry, and I leave for now my campsite, needing to loose myself in their dance, needing more to connect in rhythm with lake and loons, and once again with you, now ushered in with each sure circle they paint so slowly across that sunbeam, with each lilting stroke of my pen, spiraling words, flaming gold across this bright and open stretch of dark. Sensual, you feel in the empty lines, your curving self opening underneath, the other pair glide free outside now, their movements harmony to the silver swirl my hand traces down your phantom-fired side. Mystery of music spun in day's deep legacy, a memory allowing you secretly to move in tune with me, here as I write you in so solidly across the lake from loons whose love echoes only what is, was always meant to be. I sigh. 
I find the darkness now empty to the undertow of magic fire. Find the loons have gone, and missing you suddenly see them. Swim into nothingness, where the island's dark forest fortress guards a memory. Like ashes rake warmly over the two red coals tomorrow will use to invigorate the morning sun. So the next poem is for the laddies. All the people in the room who are boys, men, this toast is for you. And it is by Barbara Fogg. To the laddies, to the laddies. I know you. You're my fathers, my brothers, my lovers, and others. My son and his son. I've watched for seven decades. I've watched your innocence turn to hardness as you conform to the pressure to be a man. And that tiny band of I'm first, take all you can. And if you do, They'll put power in your hand. Some of you are woken and have spoken loud and proud how power needs to be shared because you're aware that none of us is spared if one of us is scared. You complete us. You don't defeat us. But the boys that say they're proud hold their ears and shroud their fears and hate and loathing. Their military clothing, the guns they're holding, terrorize, demoralize, and exercise our very souls. Men, you were born to a lofty place, and it's no disgrace, because it's just the case, but you can't erase systemic inequality and make a place at the table for each and every one of us. I urge you to come in from the cold. Let's embrace and hold boldly to one another as we melt the hate and become the part of the start of the unfolding and unmolding of a world where love is unconditional. To all you men, the time is now. And love is how we move this space to a place of unilateral, unequivocal, non-binary equanimity for all. The time is now. Unconditional love. Unconditional the time is now. The time is now. What beautiful words by Barbara Ford. Unconditional love. The time is now. The time is now. So this next poem is by Duff Norris and it is for everyone in the room, the non-binary people, every single person on this planet. This next poem is for you. A toast to everyone.
Don't let up when relief comes. Let the first rays of light be the glow of the fire of accountability we hold ours and their feet to. Let the breakwaters crack apart our bindings and clear a path towards more justice and more reconciliation. Let us dance together towards a revolution and be grateful for the light and love. But let's not forget the burden we must carry. Mist, melon, moil, moil, mist, melon, moil, moil. Ever won a soch, sin simmer screven sonsy. 
Sin simmer scriven sonsi, Muckle mo oni queer, Muckle mo oni queer. Rid rid ramid roth, Rid rid ramid roth, Ilka lo go da furly, Ilka lo go da furly, Ilka lo go da furly, Contract, be contract, Contract, be contract, Contract. A bun loch glinton, a bun loch glinton, a yont water fits whirly. I yont water fits whirly, six slow usquabi, six slow usquabi, six slow usquabi, six slow usquabi. Turlin, Wimplin, Warren, Turlin. Wimplen, warm. Go and look, Ben Winnicky. Go and look, Ben Winnicky. Go and look, Ben Winnicky. It'll geek it gear, geek it gear, geek it gear. It'll geek it gear, geek it gear, geek it gear. from the old Scottish language. And the first verse goes like this. Must leap fearless to run, must leap fearless to run. So shoes uncover soil, so shoes uncover soil to bless the meal, to bless the meal. Most farm labour, most farm labour, labour, labour. Of all wonder light breeze, of all wonder light breeze, the summer gliding gleefully jolly. The summer gliding gleefully jolly, great mouth of any choir, of any queer, any queer, any choir, any choir. To advise, to counsel, to advise, to counsel, to remedy abundance, to remedy abundance to remedy abundance to remedy abundance each flame of gold can wonder each flame of gold can wonder charm to build a country to build a country. Above the lake shining briefly beyond the river. 
river found its worldly in such a slow water of life. Such a slow water of life. Uncovering meandering spiral in a tube, daisies look intent through the window. Daisies look in the window. Eyes, 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 intent to give goodwill. Intent to give goodwill, goodwill. So thank you. Thank you for tuning in and listening this evening. I just want to firstly give a big thank yous to Sean Hen, Barbara Fogg and Duff Norris for participating and contributing poetry uh, to this evening's performance. This project would not have existed and would not have been possible without the blessing of Eden Unwata Foley. So thank you for commissioning this project and all the community at West Shore Community College. So thank you. And lastly, I want to give big thanks to Graham Nelson, who I have collaborated with to create the music and compose my poem to song uh, for this performance this evening. So it was a really ensemble uh, piece that we put together. And um, so, and lastly, I wish to thank you, the audience, for listening and tuning in and bringing your warmth to this space. I hope you appreciated the message of love and care and sensuality that we need to live with going forward. This is a critical moment, so I do hope you will consider the ethos and the philosophy of this performance. And thank you again for listening. To you, the audience. Usquabi, usquabi. Water of life, water of life.